So uh, I, I have two goals today. My first goal is to try to persuade you that links are critically important for ebooks. Uh, my second goal today is to uh, entertain. So I'm going to show a lot of demos, a lot of interactive uh, demos, and just some cool technology. So hopefully uh, it will be fun for you guys. So uh, before I start, I just want to uh, take a step back and talk about what are links, right? There's a lot we can learn of the, about the digital transformation. We don't have to reinvent uh, any, everything from scratch. So, so here is an article from the New York Times, and you can see that uh, within the text itself, they actually link to a related article within their own website. And likewise, uh, this, this is a screenshot from the time uh, website, in, in this case, not only are they linking uh, to their own site, but they're also linking to other publishers. Um, and as you can imagine, there's probably some sort of payment uh, from these other publishers to Time Inc. because Time is actually sending uh, readers to these other publishers. Um, you know, linking is not only done for textual content, right? Uh, uh, here we have uh, Pandora and they're uh, sort of known for the music genome project. So they're linking from a song to related uh, tracks based on probably some sort of uh, genre or some sort of music preferences. Uh, in the back, you have Spotify, and they're doing linking a little bit differently. They're linking uh, songs based on the artist. So you can see uh, other songs from the same artist on a song page. And likewise for videos, and YouTube is a digital native company, so they're a little more aggressive in the linking. So not only do they have links on the side, but they also have uh, links to other videos within the ED, uh, video itself. So, uh, so you know, that's linking for other content types, right? But well, how, how about eBooks? How do we click from one uh, eBook to next? Well, so take a step back and let's talk about uh, BIB uh, 11 when I was here last year. So the Steve Jobs book came out uh, around this time last year. And, and like a lot of people, I bought the book. And I quickly realized that uh, the book is actually very long. It's 650 pages long. And if I were to start reading it, I'll probably stop around chapter 5 and never really finish the book, you know, just because there's just so, so many books I want to read, and it will be one of the unread, uh, unfinished books on my shelf, just like uh, many other books that I currently have. And, and I thought about this um, uh, question a little more. Uh, you know, I, I'm an engineer, and I work in this industry. I actually know a lot about the Steve Jobs story, so I don't actually have to read the whole book cover to cover, right? So what I did was I ran a clustering algorithm on the Steve Jobs book, and it was able to extract all the topics within that book. And then, um, as, as I mentioned, I, I already know a lot of the story of, of the Steve, Steve Jobs story. So I was able to just go to the topics that I was interested in. I gener generated my own cliff notes, so to speak. Uh, so for example, like. I want to learn about uh, design and, and uh, Apple philosophy and Steve Jobs philosophy and design. So I was able to um, just look at the snippets and the excerpt and the paragraph on, on that topic. So I essentially created this um, script and it processed all the stuff and loaded it up on my laptop. And on a flight, I'll bring my laptop out. And this is just for my personal use, right? It's not in the interface that is for uh, commercial, commercially ready, right? So I'll get on a flight and I'll just kind of browse through uh, various topics. Uh, in the book. So that's kind of how I read the Steve Jobs uh, book, really. Now, let's go back to linking, right? So I started thinking more about um, this problem. And I actually used to work at Google as a software engineer in the online advertising side of the business. And uh, Steve Wozniak, he's a, uh, the less famous co-founder at Apple. And he actually wrote a book years and years before Steve Jobs did, right? And I've always wanted to read uh, Steve Wozniak's book. And I just thought, OK. Why can't I um, go, you know, link to the other uh, Steve Wozniak's book from the Steve Jobs book? So the next um, project that I work on is basically uh, mock notates, right? Um, so how does it work? So this is a Steve Jobs book on the iPad within iBooks, or obviously I didn't uh, make iBooks. It works on the based on the EPUB file format. Um, 
what the software does is when you open a book, it analyzes the text of the book, it identifies in certain key places, insert a little icon right there. And when you click on this icon, uh, the software extracts snippets from the Steve Wozniak's book and put it right there. So it's, you can imagine it as a supplemental footnote, right? So basically, Steve, uh, Steve Jobs will be talking about, you know, I have no idea what Steve Wozniak was working on that night. You click over, there's an excerpt from Steve Wozniak's book talking about what exactly he was working on that night and the issues that he faced. As I mentioned, I used to work at Google uh, in the advertising side of business, so uh, we can also, when a reader clicks read more, we can direct that reader to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, and all these uh, ebook stores for the affiliate uh, upsell opportunity. So the way it works is it works a lot like an ad network. So it first gets directed to my site and then immediately redirect that potential customer to Amazon site. And, and so, so basically what I've created is uh, a couple of things. First of all, it's uh, a linking technology that allows you to link within the publisher's own catalog. Uh, it works on EPUB files, which is why it works within the e-ink Kindle. A lot of people are still using the e-ink Reader, so we have to focus on that too. It works within iBooks, just like I've shown you, and other platforms. Um, it has no disruption to your existing workflow, right? Because it just, uh, you give me a set of EPUBs, I give you a set of uh, modified linked version of the same EPUB files. That also means that uh, the publisher who uses this tool can uh, integrate with, uh, with us anytime, right? Because they can just stop distributing the linked version and go back to the original version. So in other words, uh, if they don't tell me that they don't like my product and they just stop using it, I wouldn't even know it. Um, there's, obviously, I would want to get some feedback if, if, you know, if they stop using it. Uh, that also, also, finally, because of the server redirect, so we can do uh, link tracking, just like an ad network does. So we can give uh, publishers real-time data on how many clicks and how much uh, revenue we're delivering. Now, now uh, obviously, I can't give you guys Steve Jobs' book. It's copyrighted material, and I certainly hope you will actually buy the book. Uh, what I've done for the BIB audience today is um, the election is coming up, so I've actually uh, bought a lot of pol political books for myself. I'm reading them just to learn more about uh, the debates, and I've linked up all these books. So. So basically, you can go from, let's say, you know, you want interested in this person, Mitt Romney, he's a uh, presidential candidate, you want to see what he says on certain topic, and then you can see a link. Turns out that George Bush has written a book on the same topic, and you can see that the keywords that are highlighted where uh, the two authors are talking about some uh, subject related, so you can quickly scan um, the various topics. So it's something that maybe, like, at the Q&A, I can, like, click through and show you guys a few live examples. Uh, but in, in conclusion, right, uh, what I want to uh, leave you with is, first of all, it is in the nature, very nature of digital media to link. Ebooks do have some special characteristics, like for example, EPUBs and e-readers that we have to handle differently than other platforms, uh, other, other uh, content formats. And also linking is present as a new revenue opportunity, right? So the hard work is making the book, copy editing, editing the book, marketing the book. What you're, we're talking about here is really pure, you know, almost pure profit, right? Publisher leaving money on the table. So even if you don't want, you know, don't let me help you link your books, you guys should be doing it yourselves, you know? And finally, this is my um, contact. If you're interested, you can come find me in the back later. Uh, obviously, you know, very interested in talking to publishers and any uh, reseller or if you're a digital conversion uh, house, we can, um, we'd love to talk to you and how I can help uh, you and your publisher. And um, if you're a machine learning, uh, natural language processing engineer, love to talk to you, we can have like a geek out session in the back too. Um, so how much time? Okay, so I think we have a lot of time, so we could do Q and A while you guys are thinking through. The, um, I'm just gonna like show you guys what the this page looks like, and uh, any requests on particular book that we can 
Oh, yes. Whoa, the resolution is off. Okay. I don't know, let's say it's George Bush. Right. So he has written a book, believe it or not. Um, let's say, you know, Afghanistan. So uh, Condoleezza Rice uh, has talked about the same events. So there was apparently some sort of dinner that happened. So you can see like the other side of the story. Uh, you can click over and um, so the software is actually, I, I, this is a restricted set of the links. So uh, only about 20, I'm only showing you about 20% of the links I was able to generate because I was like, it, I was, it, it was getting to the point where I was afraid that I'm sharing a lot of copyrighted materials. So I think I'm just sharing about 20-ish links per book. So um, it doesn't actually have everything that is possible. Um, so, you know, Condoleezza Rice actually has a long career, political career. So he actually has, uh, she actually has um, references to some of the work that Bill Clinton did in the, in the, the 90s. So it's actually quite interesting. A lot of, it, it's almost like an artificial debate, you know, the, like recreating a presidential debate looking at this. Um, any questions? Yes. Yes, you can absolutely link uh, with yourself. In, in fact, uh, that's how I did it for myself. Um, you, so yes, I can tell you how to do it through a site um, afterwards. So, so it's strict sign up. Any other questions? I see s someone over there. Yes, that gentleman right there. Yeah, they're uh, all, okay, um, are they done with machine or are hand curated? Uh, they're all done with machine uh, algorithmic. So these links are all done algorithmically. Um, and also, um, we, there's a threshold that you can tune if you want. I, I have some default, very sensible uh, limits. So we try to find links that are not too relevant. Like if it's too relevant, that means you're not adding new information to the reading experience. It's almost like they're just talking about the exact same thing, but there have to be not too dissimilar. So there's a sweet spot that I've set, but that is also tunable. Uh, so if you want to have, see more links, uh, you can certainly do that. I see a question right there. Um, no, actually, I'm also working with, uh, am I doing this just in uh, uh, English? No, um, I'm also working with Spanish at the moment. Um, uh, independent, so it, yes. Right, I see one or two questions in the back, um, or scratching his head. Any more questions? Well, I, I'll be in the back, so, um, you know, if you're interested in, uh, like, this is a Steve Jobs one. I can't actually share this with you because it obviously has the uh, copyright content, but, you know, let's say Bob Dylan and Bono, right? So that's kind of related to music. So that's kind of what, basically what I did. Like, I just get on a flight and read, read my way through the book that way. Um, I also have a demo on my iPad, but you can come afterwards and check that out, too. Cool.